Okay, Nabu. Turn the kitchen light on. Turned on the lights. Okay, Nabu. Turn the kitchen lights off. Turned off the light. This is a video I thought you'd be seeing several months ago. As a matter of fact, the video you're watching right now on screen was actually filmed back in October of 2023, right when I had just bought this speakerphone. And I thought I was going to make a video showing everyone the easiest way to implement local home assistant voice control with the new wake word detection feature. There's just one problem. It didn't work, like, at all. Okay, Nabu. I never could get Home Assistant to recognize the speakerphone in the hardware, even though on the system hardware, it was it was there. It would always show up as a USB device in there. But for some reason, Home Assistant could just never see it or use it. But just this last weekend, that all changed. So in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to implement local voice control on Home Assistant with the new wake word detection feature. You know, I mean, assuming you can actually get it to work. Now, in a previous video, I actually built an ESP home device for Home Assistant voice control, but I'll level with you, I literally never used that thing. Seriously, it's still running on the original battery charge. That's right, eight months later on one charge, it still wakes up every day and lets me know it's not quite dead yet. Uh, but the problem is, is that it's just objectively not a good voice control method. The audio quality is too poor, it's too unreliable, and frankly, the Home Assistant app is just too good. I quickly found that, you know, picking up my phone and turning things on and off via the app was way more faster and reliable than my voice remote. But wake word detection arrived in Home Assistant in October of last year, and it really promised to change all that because now I wouldn't have to pick up any device at all, right? You just talk to the thing and it should work. According to the release, a USB speakerphone should work, and that would offer way better sound quality than my little ESP home device. And it's just plug and play. Except I plugged and nothing played. So no matter what I did, I could never get the damn thing to work with my system. I tried all my different USB ports. I restarted my whole PC multiple times. I reloaded the configuration. I went through logs. And I could never find any reason at all except for some reason the system just ignored the speakerphone even though it was clearly in the hardware devices. I would go into Home Assistant Discord about once every month and ask if anybody had gotten a USB device to work with Voice Assist, but really never got a good response. I mean, people would start trying to help, but it would very quickly hit a wall where they were just telling me to do things I'd already checked. And, I mean, it, it's not their fault, right? I mean, this was just a weird problem that nobody knew how to solve. And, yeah, so here we are. But then last weekend, I was working on that e-paper dashboard. I went to plug it in, and I noticed something. Why is it making noise? Uh, okay, Nabu. Holy crap, it worked. And, like, just like that, like magic, it works. So now that it does work, let's look at what you actually need to do this and how to get it set up. And I'll talk about some of the configuration tweaks that you can make that may or may not get your system to work a little better. The speakerphone I'm using is a cheap, generic USB speakerphone from Amazon from some brand called Kesuda. Um, it's currently about 40 bucks. I think I paid more than that for mine back when I bought it, but since it's been several months, the price has come back down. Setting up the device means, well, basically just plugging it in. It's a USB device, and it's supposed to just work like any other USB device, so you don't actually have to build anything. You probably do want to reboot your Home Assistant machine just to make sure that the hardware is picked up. And cross your fingers and pray to Jesus that you don't spend the next six months wondering why it won't show up in your configuration options later. Next, assuming that it does show up, you want to make sure and grab the wake word and assist microphone add-ons and make sure that they are added into the Wyoming protocol integration in Home Assistant. Now, I am assuming that you already have Wyoming and Piper and Whisper set up and a voice pipeline configured. If you don't, I would recommend that you go find a tutorial on setting up voice assist 
in Home Assistant. It's not a difficult process, but it's just too much to add to this video. Now, there are two different Assist microphone add-ons. Make sure you get the one that is not the Raspi Hass.io add-on. You want the official one. And once it's added on, go into the configuration and scroll to the bottom. And in the audio setup, in those drop-downs, you should see your speakerphone, microphone, and speaker as options. And just select them and save and restart that add-on. All the other defaults in Open Wake Word and Assist Microphone are actually fine to start with, so just leave those alone. Uh, just, again, make sure that they're added in Wyoming. Then you go into your Voice Assistant Pipeline setup, and at the bottom, make sure that Open Wake Word is your Wake Word engine, and pick a Wake Word. I'm using OK Nabu because I felt like the others are kind of dumb, um, but after you update that, you should be good to go. Now, if your setup doesn't work right away, you might want to, again, go ahead and restart Home Assistant again just to make sure that all the configurations have fired up correctly. Now, at this point, I would love to guarantee you that this will all work, but I can't because I honestly do not know why my system never recognized my device, and I don't know why it started recognizing my device. Um, there's been a lot of updates to Home Assistant in the past several months, so it could have been one of those. Also, I'm on an x86 system, so take that into consideration. You know, maybe if you're on a Raspberry Pi or something else, it, it may work different. But what all this means is basically, look, if you have trouble getting your device identified by Home Assistant, I really can't offer much help on this one. I would point you to the Home Assistant Discord, and frankly, God be with you, my friend. That said, now that the system does work, how is it? And, you know, it's really not bad, actually. The USB speakerphone does provide way better audio than the voice remote that I built. And it seems that the microphone does a much better job of getting clean audio into the system. I do think the microphone orientation could be a bit better on this particular device. There's two microphones on it and they seem to pick up better if I'm standing than if I'm like sitting on the couch. Um, and I figure it's because they're probably pointed up. Like if it's on a desk, people are sitting around it, it expects the audio to be coming down. Uh, so I think they just pick up better from above than from like the side or below. Distance, echo, and background noise are also the cause of some issues. So like mine is much less reliable if the TV is on because my TV is literally right above it. E-paper dashboard. Okay, Nabu. Um, and in this video, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so Nabu. This dashboard that I've got can Turn the kitchen lights off. This is a few components. You've got the screen. There's an ESP32 board and then Sorry, the I couldn't screen, understand that. I've got the auto gain in Wyoming set to plus 3 dB and the noise suppression's on medium. I wouldn't mess with the mic volume here. I found that on my system that does not help anything. I figure that it's probably starting to cause distortion on the microphone feed channels. So I would probably just leave that mic volume at one. As for voice assist itself, well, the wake word is a bit stubborn sometimes. Okay, Nabu. Okay, Nabu. Okay, Nabu. To help my system trigger a little easier, um, I have lowered the threshold in the open wake word add-on. Mine's currently at 0 0.1, which is very low, and it does sometimes get some false positives from the TV being on, but it still, even with that sensitivity, doesn't always catch my wake words unless I speak kind of loudly, clearly, and distinctly. As for parsing commands, it's a bit finicky sometimes with how I phrase things. For instance, turn the kitchen lights on tends to work better than turn on the kitchen lights. Now, in English, those are the exact same things, just a different order, but it does seem to parse the first type better. I've moved to the base model in Whisper with a beam size of five. My system can run that in under two seconds on the request, which feels decently responsive. It's certainly not perfect. It doesn't get it right every time. And if you can run the small or medium models, you probably would get better interpretations on your commands. However, moving from base to like small int eight, which is the next step up, doubled the response time on my machine. And that is a noticeable amount of lag to me. Now, again, if you got a, a stronger Home Assistant server, maybe it would run those faster. But again, I don't like a ton of delay and the base model works pretty well. Overall, I would say that Voice Assist with WakeWord is usable. There's still a lot of room for improvement 
And it's certainly not as seamless or as effective as a Google Nest or home device. But on the other hand, it's also not spying on me. So, you know, take what you can get. Plus, it can't really do anything but get better as the Home Assistant team and community improves upon what is already a system with pretty acceptable base functionality. And I think that's all I have to say on this one for now. If I ever do figure out exactly what caused my system not to work or what you need to make sure of to, to ensure that yours does, I'll update that in a comment pinned down below or something. But, you know, I'd really love to hear your experiences or if you have any insights into what happened that might have caused mine to work. Like, you know, if you know more about how the USB stuff works, the audio pipeline stuff works, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. That would be extremely helpful to get more people up and running in a reliable way. Or if you just have thoughts about, you know, the Home Assistant voice system or the wake word integration or any of that. Um, but, you know, as always, I really do appreciate your time. Thanks. Okay, Nabu. Turn the kitchen lights off. Sorry, I'm not aware of any device called Try the Kitchen. Okay, Nabu. Turn the kitchen lights off. Turned off the light. <laughs>